Hey there again folks, welcome back to my let's play of Never 7, The End of Infinity, and last time we, uh, we did things, I suppose, uh, we went, we, we changed things uh, in the graveyard, Saki was with us instead of Yuka, and uh, apparently she was quite interested in, in the dude from, uh, before that Yuka was interested in, so, yeah, I guess that's interesting. The guy's important somehow in this story, I'm sure. They wouldn't keep bringing him up. Uh, and, uh, we were also with, uh, me and Yuka went to the place with Izumi. And, uh, she was telling us a joke. She was trolling us. <laughs> I'm glad she doesn't comment in my videos. Uh, <laughs> or YouTube in general. So, uh, because she's a troll, apparently. But anyway. Let's, let's keep rolling. Well, Izumi must have a lot of faith in that weather guy because I wouldn't bet very much money on weather casters, as I was saying last time. Uh, yeah. She, uh, she must have a lot of faith in this in this guy. Is him saying bashfully sticks out her tongue. Um, more disturbed by the story of what well, this demon than is him saying's lie. Everything which occurs in the world has been predetermined from the beginning. Its occurrence is by no means accidental, but in fact ev inevitable. Everything's been predetermined. Gee, how relevant to the story. <laughs> to them smile merrily. Merrily smiling. At 11.17 a.m. the earthquake attacks. The earthquake attacks. It comes from the ocean. It goes onto the, onto the shore. It shakes stuff up and it returns to whence it came. But since you can already knew about it, we've gotten to the point where nothing surprises surprises or frightens us anymore. It'd be funny if they were if they were just eating, you know, their food and they were like, "Go on." You know, just kept going nonchalantly about it. Only Azumi Sen is upset by this contingency as the coffee cup just completely break broke. These recent earthquakes cause us to lose more and more tableware, she laments. And so up until everyone arrived at five, the three of us passed the time exchanging trifling go gossip. Maybe they need to get plastic plates or something. Or non shatter or, or shatterproof plates. I mean, it's 2014 and there's shatterproof plates. I've dropped the plates that we have. And they did not shatter, so. She needs some of those. Go into the past and grab some for the future now, Izumi. That time Izumi Sen tells us very interesting stories about Kurumi. Okay. Seems that Kurumi's had vagrant habits ever since she was a child. She'd get lost at the amusement park, would get stranded of when going on trips. Hmm. Is that really what you'd call vagrant? That's big save. <laughs> when I think of vagrancy, I think of holding up supermarkets or, or, or mugging little old ladies, you know, which would be, I have to admit, would be an amusing sight to picture with Kurumi. So, Kurumi says, give me all the money. <laughs> Although I think that uh, you can, I can't help but nod every now and then as Izumi sends words. At any rate, today is Thursday, April 4th. The, the day Kurumi actually went missing, okay. The fourth, okay. I knew it was a couple days before. Okay. Kurumi's disappearance. I see. Now, now that I think about, it, now that I think about it, that was how all of this began. The first time Yuki and I went to the shrine was to look for the missing Kurumi. We didn't see that talisman when we went to the shrine, and right now we probably wouldn't be doing something like repeating this time. If that's the case, then making Kurumi go missing might be dangerous. Now wait a minute. There's a much bigger problem with letting it happen than that, isn't there? 
No matter the circumstances, Karimi's disappearance isn't something to be grateful for. Kazumi san also gets also got extremely worried. You can I know that tonight Karimi will go missing. Nevertheless, there's no way that I can let that happen. Tonight I'll be with Karimi the whole time. Of course I'll have I'll have Yuka to help me. It's not like we're going to babysit her, but if we keep a close eye, we should be able to prevent that act incident from occurring. I did like tie her up and put her in a trunk for a few hours. That'd be that'd be a bit harsh though. If we could change Saki's history, then we can change Kurumi's. The preparations are finally in order. Everyone is each holding a paper cup. So the cups are ice cold beer. However, Kurumi and Haruka have orange juice. Savory smoke begins to rise from the iron plate. Okay, I thought there was some more towards the The last day, like the night before or something. Hmm. Guess I remember wrong. Sure you did. Everyone's eyes immediately turn to you. こうしてみんなが巡り合えたことにそれからちょっと遅いけど先の会期祝いの意味も込めて what we're on the topic. Congrats to you. You you had that little scrape when you fell off the uh, monkey bars in, in first grade. I'm glad you got better. And uh, Dave over there didn't you uh, didn't you have like the flu back in uh, seventh grade? And glad you're better though. Seriously, this that, that's uh, I guess it's a recovery from the statement, but. Pretty bad recovery. Makoto style actual uh, conversation style there. So yeah, so na koto matta wa ne. Eh, oso sugi desho, so le wa. Demo, haya sugi de yori wa ii desho. Toyukoto de. Mina san, junbi wa ii desu ka? Sore ja, kanpai! Kanpai! Well, that was awkward, but at least she was able to pull it off. Oh. Like a drive-by there. Everyone is much more cheerful than last time. I can't find one speck of gloom on Saki's expression that Haruka is in an unusually good mood. I'm gonna be careful there, Yuka. Gurumi there, right beside you. We know her vagrant act. She's likely to stick a shield in there with that kebab and uh, take your wallet. Ah. Looking at Haruka jogs my memory. I was about to break loose any second now. Probably not, though, since they didn't have the interaction from before. Kruger takes out a plastic bag. Is he gonna get stupid? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. It's out of some familiar small living creatures, closely packed and crowded together. <laughs> As if sensing the events that's about to come, you can quickly runs away. I nonchalantly go around Okahiko and stand behind them. Haruka-san, what are you asks innocently. Namushi. So, 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 おいしいわけないでしょ、そんなもの。焼いてみよう。ちょっと<笑> about fry? Can we fry on? The time she says that, Haruka is almost finished opening the plastic bag. I smoothly bind Hokahiko's arms behind his back so he can't try to run away. Are? He's not making a reference about how you knocked his lights out before. In the next instant, 
The opening to the plastic bag opens up and a large group of sea roaches scatter. <laughs> His scream is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Not the funniest thing, but it's very, very funny. Okuhiko screams. Saki and Izumi's hands vanish at top speed. Fortunately, none of the sea roaches scatter on top of the iron plate, it, and they go every, and they go every way. However, several of them climb up Okahiko's body. That one went a, a whole nother tone. That was awesome. Wow. Okahiko completely faints. He don't faint on top of the grill, though. I mean, that would be horrible. Mostly. Soon enough, everyone timidly comes back. Haruka and Kurumi slump their shoulders in disappointment. And about, a, about an hour has passed since then. The party's in full swing due to the sea roach incident. We've become more lively, except for Okahiko. He's over there in the corner. Taking a nap again. Everything is calm as we fool around and poke fun at each other. Uh, it's as noisy as ever. I think now's the best time to tell you about my plan for us to be together with Karumi all night. Hopefully, he words it better than that. <laughs> I can sound awkward. <laughs> I secretly call Yuka over towards the rocks, a short distance away from the party. This is at the time that she's gonna be reliable to plan. Yeah, there's something important I have to talk to you about. What is it? Uh, idiot? There's no way it'd be that. Huh? My heart is beating furiously. <laughs> He's surrounded by trolls, isn't he? You... Let each time I tell you my plans for Kurumi. You'll help me, right? Hey, did you really understand a word of what I just said now? <laughs> With that laugh, I don't believe she understands a word of it. Maybe I should have waited until she was sober before bringing this up. That's what I think. And at that time, the sound of water splashing echoes. The sound, it's exactly like the one I heard at, at the last barbecue. I need to turn around to understand the situation. Saki's hand accidentally slipped and she spilled a beer in her paper cup on Yuka. Huh? Yuka? But well, Yuka's in front of me right now, isn't she? Which means... I try slowly turning around. By the iron plate, Saki is holding a now empty paper cup. Oh! Oh, that's right. Uh, she did spill it on Yuka first. And then she laughed. That's right. And uh, Haruka said, How do you feel about it now? How, or how does it feel? When it happens to you, something like that. Karumi? Karumi's clothes are soaked from the chest to the bottom of her shirt. I see. Because Yuka wasn't in the ring of people, the person who was next to her originally, Karumi, was directly hit. Everyone becomes completely silent. She sounds genuinely apologetic, meaning every word. 
For the gesture of apology, Saki begins to wipe the bear off Kurumi's clothes with a dishcloth. Okiko doesn't make any stupid jokes and keeps his mouth shut. Naturally, Haruka also stays put, not showing any signs of agitation. Just then... Oh, Saki-chan, you're crying, right? That's a little bit of a joke, chan Everyone bursts into laughter. Okay, I didn't get offered like last time. They cheerfully laugh at Saki's blunder as if trying to poke fun at her and brush the incident off. Of course, Kurumi's bright smile returns too. Saki sheepishly grins at all the teasing. It's as if anything and everything's all changed. Is that what you wanted? The atmosphere from last time has suddenly changed to a harmonious atmosphere. Why? I don't even have to think about it. Once again, a bad history has changed into a good one. However, this one is special because history has changed without us directly interfering with it. Which means it can indirectly go back the way it was. We didn't think about trying to prevent this fight, but thankfully history changed for us. This is just like that story, uh, when the wind blows, the barrel makers profit. Could it be that even luck is on our side now? When I think that, I get into, get into a kind of goody... Uh, Get goody mood, yes, a goody mood. That's, he, he's been in a non goody two shoes mood, now he's in a goody four shoes mood. It's a little while later, but you can I begin to laugh much louder than the others. After that, the laughter doesn't cease until the barbecue ends. After that, we, leave, we left the barbecue in a cheerful mood and returned to the lodge. We were, we were reluctant to break up at Princess Beach and end the party. So we decided to accept Izumi-san's proposal. We had played so many rounds of Seven Bridge that we had, had lost track of time. And then everyone got tired and fell asleep past two in the morning. As usual, Haruka's in her own room and Oki goes sleeping up in the loft. After the game was over, Saki returned to her summer house alone while rubbing her sleepy eyelids. Truth be told, it seems she wanted to stay overnight at the lodge with everyone, but unfortunately there wasn't enough room for her to sleep. Zimusen is using the living room sofa, and Kurumi took my bed when I wasn't paying attention. So in the first place, I, did, I don't even have a place to sleep. Looks like I'm sleeping on the hard floor tonight. Oh, and it's for Yuka. She's next to me right now, okay. We're sitting on the floor of my room, our backs leaning against the wall. Kurumi is sleeping soundly in front of us, breathing quietly. We're gazing at her peaceful, sleeping face. You could whisper this without taking an eye off of Kurumi's face. About what? Well, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Hey, say what you like, but don't you think it's too early to feel that way? Exactly. Exactly. You don't want to get too cocky too early, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Just be safe, why don't you stay with me tomorrow night? It's not like that, but... I told you, it's just to be safe. Even in the darkness, I can tell that you is annoying. Just hold it right there. How can you expect me to trust you when you were the one who broke our promise on the last six in the first place? Don't come here ever again. Even though you said that in front of the shrine. I'm taking it back at my own words. That's right, that's right, isn't it? Why did I forget about it up until now? Was it because everything has been going so incredibly well that I let myself get intoxicated with cheerfulness and didn't realize I'd forgotten about it? Even though this was a such a crucial element. Even though this is the most important question. This was the question in my mind. That was bugging me just before I fell asleep on the night of the first. Why did Yuka want to go back and do the past? 
Say you could. I still haven't heard it, have I? Your reason for wanting to go back to the past. I don't even know what it is. You never even told me. Even so, even so, even so I repeat myself many times. There's no way I can trust you. I don't know your reason at all. I have no guarantee that you won't go. Finally able to let out some steam. Mm -mm. <sighs> My shedding causes Karumi to turn in the bed. <laughs> horrible. I I'm horrible. Yuki says this and slowly gets up. Kurumi-chan, I fall. Oh, Yuki leaves the room. I follow right after her. Yuki sits down in the center of the short staircase that leads to the terrace. I sit down next to her. The biting cold wind nips at my ears. That wind makes the blood that blood that's rushed to my head suddenly cool down. I slightly regret yelling now. Look up at the night sky. This is the second time I've seen this miracle. A sparkling group, this tempest of stardust. The countless stars shine brightly as if they were about to burst. My mind has calmed down like the surface of the, of the water does after a ripple. And the main theme music happens again. You could purse her lips and looks at me. Her eyes are misty as if she's about to cry. She takes a deep breath, her thin shoulders trembling. That we've established. She speaks in a very quiet voice. It's a voice that feels like it's touching my heart. Kizuitano the spring rain at the end of the cape, together with the echoing bell, will free you from time. Okay, you're telling us everything we already know. Okay.あの初恋の男の子、私のこと好きだって言ってくれたのに、でも私は、私は。私は私はまだ伝えてなかったのよ。私の思いをあの男の子に。そうですね。Yuka。I'll the only reason you did it was for that purpose? Don't screw with me. And you're telling me that the only reason we know I've continued to be toyed with like this is because of your selfish emotions. These past 10 days, no, it could be 10 years or 100 years for all I know. We've been stuck like that, like this the whole time because you recklessly acted. You're because you recklessly acting upon such ridiculous and childish emotions. Wrong, wrong, then why don't you try telling me what, what I'm wrong about, then? Yeah. Eh, it's probably a, appropriate for that strong, for such a strong word to be there. I get it, that's enough. That's enough, nothing matters right now. What the heck? I've had enough. Good job, Makoto. Well, I'm definitely agreeing with you about that. 
You know what it's gonna do? It's gonna drive her back there to repeat the the week, uh, you know, like the, like she just did. You are aware of this, right, Makoto? That she's gonna go back because of this little exchange right here. Good job. Good job, guy. You win an award. Seriously though, that is a bit. I mean, this dude might be married right now, you know. Um. It was in middle school, so this guy could be married and with kids or something. You know, it's like that. Uh, well, Castaway had a, kind of a depressing ending. It had an appropriate ending, you know. Uh, that. You know, it would wreck. Repairing would also wreck other things. So, yeah. I feel so exhausted. Everything really doesn't matter anymore. At this point, I don't really even want to speak to Yuka. I don't need to. It's getting harder to breathe. I don't want to think about anything. Staggers, I climb up the stairs. I hear a calling behind me. I'm guessing that Makoto isn't this dude. If he was, that would break the pattern. She could tell him and she wouldn't have to go back in time. Just a, just a cheesy thought there. Perhaps that's the solution. Maybe he should say, you guy, I haven't been wanting to tell you this, but but I am that guy. I've had some facial reconstruction surgery since high school, or middle school, whenever. So it's me. And she could tell him, and then, boom, no reason for her to want to go back in time. However, I don't want to look at her face. When I turn to my room, I lie down on the floor and close my eyes. I want to hurry up and fall asleep. At this point, I wouldn't even care if I fell asleep for eternity. All I want to do is run away from this messed up reality. As if someone flipped a switch, I drift off. <clears throat> Excuse me. I drift off to sleep the moment my eyes shut. Black screen. Makoto -kun. Makoto -kun. Is that Saki? Someone shakes my body, rousing me from sleep. Pour my eyes at Saki. Okay. We can go ahead and cut it off here. That was, uh. It was an important scene, I suppose. Find out what Yuka's real intentions were there. It's kind of, it's kind of. I mean, it's kind of wrong of, 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 of her uh, trying to make this make make the guy feel like he needs to live up to this guy he's never met before. Also, that uh, yeah, it is a bit kind of annoying too. But yeah. And we're also seeing how this could go badly again. Because she's... Because, uh, yeah, it seems like that's going to be a hard thing to recover from. She'll probably want to go back in time and change what he just did. And, uh, yeah. That's, all right, that's my guess, anyway. That's, that's, uh, that's my prediction. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you folks enjoyed. And I shall see you in the next one. Um, I don't know how much longer this ending is. I mean, I thought it was over with there a few episodes ago, but apparently not. Uh, I don't know how this... I mean, maybe you get a week where you're... That's based on the decisions you made the week before. And maybe it resets itself again, but your decisions are still somewhat affected. I don't know. I don't know how this game works. I've only been playing it for a while almost 15 hours <laughs> if this is episode 30 so yeah anyway see you in the next one there folks farewell